in today's video i'm going to be renovating one of my subscribers house in Bloxburg. so if you didn't know yesterday we hit 400 000 subscribers so i thought in celebration of hitting 400k i would renovate one of your guys's house just to give back to you because you guys do so much for me so i just want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos like, i wouldn't even be making videos if it wasn't for you guys so literally from like the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much you're like my little family and i appreciate every single one of you my sink babies my alaskians i love you all so yeah Ew, Alaska being sweet, how weird. Anyway, so this is she. She has a budget of $200,000 and she has all the game passes and the style she wants is like a cute trailer house. As you can see behind me, it's literally called Sunnyvale Trailer Park. Okay, so she, would you like to give me a little tour around because I'm kind of lost. I don't know which trailer I'm renovating. Is that my initials? Alaska Violet, stop. Right here, we have the mall station. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at this mall station. Guys, I, I've literally started a cult. Like, I've started a cult. Where's the land source? My beautiful trailer. I think this is the trailer I'm renovating, actually. We got the American flag at the front. We got, oh, let's just hope that's water, not any other liquid. Oh, okay. Oh, it's, it's, it's nice in here. Oh, it's quirky. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's, it's definitely a house. It's, yeah. <laughs> what is that on the wall? Oh, we love some old pizza. It's so yummy. Okay, here we've got the living room. Very cluttered. Um, but it's okay. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. I don't judge, okay? I'm not a judgeful person. I don't even know if judgeful is a word, but it is now because I just need it up. Yeah, she says, oh my god, wrong channel. I'm so sorry. Then she changes it to Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> you guys are absolutely crazy. Okay, here's the bedroom. Oh, when I look at this room, it just, it smells like vanilla. It smells like a nice summer day. You you know? Is that me? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. Is that me sitting on the toilet? I absolutely hate this photo. I don't know why, but listen, when you search up Alaska Violet on Google, you know what comes up? An image of me sitting on the toilet. Like, what did I even do to make that happen? Okay, here we've got, I think, is the bathroom. I'm have to, like, park all my way over these sheets. Okay. I might have to shut this door to actually have a good look. Oh, it's very, very nice and clean. Very clean in here. Oh my gosh, she get out of here. I'm literally taking a poo. If someone takes a screenshot of me right now and I see it on Google. Okay, so this is the trailer park. Very, very nice. Oh, okay. And she's got like more trailer parks in here. Wow. Like even the street line as well. That is like lots of attention to detail that I've noticed. Okay. This is another one of her trailers. It doesn't have any roof though. Okay. Another trailer over here. Oh, okay. I don't know where to go. I'm I'm like lost in here. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh. Yo, help. I've been trapped. I've been trapped. All right, it looks like she wants this one renovated, which actually, yeah, it could it could do with a nice renovation in here. And she doesn't want me to touch any of the other trailers, which is fine, totally acceptable. Okay, she said I would like for it to have some cowboy accents. We can definitely make that work. All right, well, I am going to start renovating this trailer while she starts working on my plot, and I'll see her real soon. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, we've got exactly 200,000 to work with. Okay, so she wants like a cozy cowboy farmhouse. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is get rid of everything at the front. What what is with these planks on the windows like i'm sorry also this weird water puddle babe that's gotta go like get out of here this is actually so satisfying for some reason i think we're also gonna change like the footpath at the front as well i feel like this house would look cuter if she had like a modern trash can instead of this big bulky trash can i don't think she needs that okay i guess we can keep the american flag but for now this has got to move out of my face <laughs> so i'll just put it there okay the thing is i can't really work on the outside until i finish everything on the inside and as you can see we have to get rid of a lot of things out here. <laughs> like, I mean a lot of things. A lot, a lot, a lot of things. So I guess we can start with the inside, which is the kitchen and the dining room. I feel so bad, but everything here has literally got to go. She might want to keep her decals, though, because people are funny with the decals, so I'm not going to get rid of them. This is all, like, a hazard risk. The one thing I'm most concerned about in the kitchen is why on earth there is a towel right above the oven. That could end so badly. Mmm, yummy. I love me. Ten-week-old pizza on the floor. What on earth is that? What is that? Is that poo? Okay, we've got rid of everything in the kitchen. Now we've got this room over here. <laughs> oh, not the crib room. This is the most satisfying renovation I think I've ever done. Like it's literally, it's curing my OCD. You know those videos you see on TikTok where it's like a massive time-lapse renovation where they literally like get rid of everything in like a massive time-lapse and it's so satisfying. That's what it feels like I'm doing right now. Oh, she also has like a little backyard here. Okay. You know what? We can definitely do something with this. I think get rid of all these shrubs and we can make it like a nice balcony. All right, land room is done. Now we've got the bedroom. Why is just a duct tape aircon on the roof. How did she even sleep on this bed? There is a trash bin on her 
face. You gotta go, you gotta go. This photo of me in the toilet, get out of here. I never want to see that again. Like out of all the photos Google decided to show of me, it's a photo of me in the toilet. Like what does that say about me? Okay, bedroom's done. <laughs> I've got the bathroom. Yo, this ain't funny. This ain't funny. What is this? What is in that bathtub? You know what? I don't want to know. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, good news is everything in the house is empty. So now we can really start from scratch. And the first thing I want to do is paint the walls because I'm not really fussed on this sage green plaid texture. She said she wanted like a farmhouse vibe. So we might go with like a brown vertical plank. Okay, yes, I absolutely love that color. And then over here, we can spice it up by making this like white horizontal planks. And I'm also going to knock down this roof because I think it's a slanted roof at the moment. And I'm going to make it a flat roof instead. Oh my gosh, I forgot to eat breakfast and there's porridge and it's just, it's so cold. It is actually disgusting. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's literally rust underneath her roof. Like, absolutely not. My girl's not gonna have rust underneath her roof. That is disgusting. Okay, now for the fun bit, which is adding the food puff. Oh my gosh, I have the money to buy really anything I want, really. Should I just bought Anubis Superior and left the game? Can you imagine? <laughs> that is so mean. Soz, that's my intrusive thoughts coming through. Okay, what I do is usually put plain markings on top of the footpath. It kind of creates this like stepping stone illusion, which is actually really cool. And I think more people should definitely use that build hack. And obviously it's gonna be very dark out here at nighttime. So we can just put these landscape lights on the footpath. That way she's not in complete darkness. And we're also gonna give her a fence because I feel like she needs a fence. And because she wanted like a cowboy farmhouse, we're gonna use these farm fences. And then underneath these farm fences, we can put small hedges. Guys, let's be honest, this house is gonna be the most luxurious house in all of Sunnyside. I think it's called Sunnyside. Yeah, it's called Sunnyside. Y'all, this trailer house is looking yeehaw. Scrum diddly yum. Actually, you know what we can have at the front here? Because it is a trailer park, we can have a little campfire with some camper chairs. We'll add two here and then like a fireplace. Okay, so I'd say the outside is done. So now we can finally start working on the inside. But before we do that, we need a door. Okay, we can have a nice little traditional door. Okay, the first thing I want to do is change the floors. Because I've never been a fan of uh, these wooden planks. So I think this wooden color looks nice. And we'll just put that throughout all the rooms. Oh, I see her. Oh, she is using my workstation. Look at her go. She is a girl on a mission. This is so funny watching you guys. Oh, okay. She said, can you add some small luxurious aspects too? I'm a bougie country cowboy. Okay, she wants some luxurious aspects, which we can definitely do. Okay, because she wanted some luxurious aspects, I guess we can use like marble wood palings. I think this is going to be the most insane glow up out of all my renovations. Also, I don't know why, but she doesn't have a window in her bedroom. So we're definitely going to give her a window. Okay, so now onto the kitchen. I think we're going to use these arched cabinets today. But we also have to remember as this is a relatively small house. I don't think we're going to have room for an island bench, so I think the bench can go over here. Which, honestly, guys, who cares? If you don't have an island bench, it doesn't mean you're less luxurious than other people. Okay, because it's like that cowboy vibe, we're definitely going to add some wood up here. Okay, now it's time to paint the oven because right now it's literally rusty, and I'm pretty sure she had towels above her ovens, which is so dangerous. So instead of towels, we're going to have pans. We'll give her a nice big sink as well, and we can put her coffee over here because, you know, people love their coffee. You know what? We're going to have a spilt coffee on the newspaper. Give it that realistic aspect. And as she wanted luxurious, we can add like LED lights above the kitchen. You know what? I'm going to give her friend their own photo frame. I feel like they deserve a photo frame. Oh my gosh, she also has a photo of herself. <laughs> okay, me. And also a dishwasher over here in case she wants to wash her dishes. I actually don't even own a dishwasher. I'm just used to like washing my own dishes. Like my Vunava, which is grandma and grandpa in Portuguese. They always hand wash their dishes, so I think it's just in my mind that I should hand wash everything. I also realized she needs some curtains, she needs some privacy in here. So we're going to use these wooden blinds because they're kind of farmhouse. That way she has some privacy from the weirdos. Okay, she also had a coffee table in here, so we're going to give her a round coffee table. That was so expensive, I'm so sorry. And a good old fruit bowl. You know what this is reminding me of? It's reminding me of the starter house. <laughs> She's going to walk in a house and it's like, uh, why do I have the literal starter house in here? Oh my gosh, the roof. I'm sorry. I just realized the roof is made out of rust. Uh, get out of here. You know what? She wanted luxurious, so we're giving her a chandelier. You know, I just realized, why is there no welcome mat? Um, oh, the fridge. Y'all, I need to stop. I literally almost forgot to add a fridge. She also had a crib in here, but, uh, I don't know if I want the crib in the living room. I feel like a nice round carpet would really, like, elevate this space. And we're gonna make it out of wood, because we are country. We're also gonna give her our own fireplace, but these fireplaces are way too big for this small living room. Like, if I added a massive one in here. It would take up like most of the space. So instead we're going to use this really cute wood burning stove in the corner. And honestly I think that looks really nice. And for the sofa
sofas we can't use something like too big so i'm thinking just like one tough sofa here and then just like a little rocking chair in the corner like we're gonna keep this living room as minimalistic as possible because before she was like complaining about how crowded it was in her house y'all tell me this isn't the most cowboy farmhouse living room you've ever seen like it's actually looking so good i also noticed before how she didn't have like any books so we definitely need to incorporate more books in here it's like a cowboy decoration i wish there was like a horseshoe or something maybe a little handyman ranch and like a cactus i i do not know because like when i think of like out west i think of like cactuses for some reason because every time i go out west i always see cactuses so it actually kind of makes sense oh we can have a little horse on the table that's kind of cute i just saw her zooming past the house <laughs> <laughs> that actually kind of scared me. Okay, I think her lounge room is actually looking pretty cute. The last thing we need to add in here, obviously, is a light. Actually, instead of a light, we're gonna have a fan light. I don't use fan lights much often. Okay, and that is the lounge room all finished. So now we've got the bedroom. Okay, I'm gonna ask her what's her favorite color. I usually ask you guys what's your favorite color in your bedrooms because I want to make it very, like, personal and just, like, make sure you like it over... What is she doing? Can you guys see that? What is she doing? Guys! <laughs> What did that for sale sign do to you, miss? She doesn't know that I can see her right now. She's having full beef. Okay, that's very interesting. Anyway, I'm just gonna leave her. What's your fave color? Neon green. Oh, well, my favorite color is like sage green. I don't think we're gonna paint her room neon green. I think maybe instead we're gonna go for like a nice sage green. And as you can see, her bedroom is very small, so we're gonna have to be very cautious with our space. Oh, she also had a crib, didn't she? I don't know where on earth I'm gonna put this crib. Unless I put the bed like this way, and then I'll have room for the crib which is over here i think that makes the most logical sense and obviously babies need lots of toys so i'm gonna make sure there's heaps of toys on here actually considering she does have a baby maybe we'll get rid of one of these chairs and put a high chair instead we have to be considerate of the baby okay okay now back onto her bedroom we're gonna make sure there's heaps of pillows in here because i feel like she definitely loves her pillows i've noticed with some people they have their pillows like on the side of their room so i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna spice it up a little bit oh this is so like out of the ordinary but like i just genuinely cannot believe we hit 400,000 in one year. Like, out of all the fan bases in the world, I think mine is the best. Alaskians on top, for real. Like, if we had to go to war with any of the other fan bases in the YouTube community, I think we would win with our Gordon Ramsay paintings. Okay, her bed is actually looking so cute. And to make this even more cozy, we can have colorful string lights around her bed. Y'all, why is this kind of looking like Bella from Twilight's house? You know what, she, you get a fancy end table because you deserve it. And we also need more posters in here to make it more roomy. I don't know why I'm forgetting to add posters and you know what we're gonna do we're gonna copy this photo of herself and put it above her bed okay and i think that is her bedroom all finished now we can finally work on the bathroom now this bathroom is actually so small but it's okay because we're gonna make it work do you guys remember when i done a one by one bathroom if i can do a one by one bathroom i can do any bathroom darling so next to this window we're gonna have a bath and a shower it's like i'm doing one of those trailer house renovations on youtube i'm obsessed with them videos i watch them all the time okay and we're gonna put these floating shelves here so that that way we can place our shampoo and conditioner okay and to make this bathroom even more like cowboy vibes we're gonna change the water rooms to like wood okay and now to add her sink and toilet i think we're gonna use these traditional counters with like marble countertops so it's a mixture of country and luxurious like she asked but for some reason these like cabinet handles are reminding me of horseshoes oh my gosh this is so random but like i own like five horses and let me tell you you guys do not want to get stepped on by a horse it is the most painful thing ever i remember breaking my foot when I was like five because my Clydesdale, which is like a really, really big horse if you didn't know, stepped on my little tiny feet and um, it literally, it killed me. And I, I was five and I remember it like it was yesterday. If my memory serves me right, I think she had like loads of toilet paper in here. So instead of having tons of toilet paper, we're just gonna have like a little storage unit above her head. That way we can have like a little triangle toilet paper. See? And there we go. That looks much neater than before. Okay, and that's her bathroom all finished. So the last thing that we're gonna do in here, I think is her backyard so we're just gonna outline this with like a fence so we know and we're gonna leave her barbecue we're just gonna change the color because right now it is rusty and we're gonna just keep this very simple i think we're just gonna add like a outdoor seating area just in case she has some guests over and they want to eat outside they can i said nearly done and she goes booyah i also added some string lights out here to make it nice and cozy okay and i think we are finished and surprisingly we have one hundred and forty three thousand dollars left which means we only used like fifty eight thousand, which is honestly so so good okay she's new renovated trailer house is all complete so now it is time to show her her new 
masterpiece. This is definitely like my favorite renovation yet. Like this looks like a completely new house compared to what it looked like before. Like when I go inside, I'm just like, I refuse to believe this is the same house. I didn't really use like farmhouse cowboy style before, but you know what? I'm gonna start using it from now on because for some reason it just looks so cozy. Like when I come in here, it's so nostalgic for some reason. I think the bathroom is definitely my favorite because it incorporates both like luxury and farmhouse. And I love the decals that I chose as well. They're all like farmhouse paintings and they're actually adorable. So now it's time for the big reveal. She, are you ready? Do you like my outfit? Um, it's giving yeehaw. It's giving Takashi 6ix9ine if he was a cowboy. But you know what? I kind of love it. So, okay, I feel like I definitely fit the part now. Why do I literally look like Barbie? Yeah, we look too iconic right now. Okay, it is time for she to see her new renovated house. Okay, follow me, Missy, to your new home. Okay, I can see she's already roasting marshmallows. So that is a good sign. This is stinking cute, darling. Oh, stop it. So I added two chairs out here in case she wants to like sit outside with her friends or family. Okay, so let's make our way inside, shall we? I love this footpath as well, by the way. It's just oh, chef's kiss. Okay, after you, madam. Let's hope she likes it, guys. She's at the door. Voila! Welcome to your new home. The renovation on this is absolutely insane. This is as pretty as a peach. Oh my lordy. She loves the lounge room, I think. This lounge room is actually so cute. Considering we had like a really small space to work with, I think it just turned out amazing. And this is her bedroom. She said she liked green, so I wanted to like incorporate some green. My jaw is on- <gasps> Oh my god! That scared the <laughs> Who is this person? Oh my- So yeah, this is her bedroom. Very, very cute. Of course, I had to incorporate her portrait of herself and this is her new bathroom i actually love the bathroom so much holy cow yeah that's what i'm saying like she can have a little cowboy baths in this bathtub you ate this up the whole supermarket oh stop she's actually a sweetheart also this outfit i'm keeping this what the heck yeah like i said before i think the bathroom's definitely my favorite i can't believe this i didn't know it had this much of potential i didn't know it had this much potential either compared to what it was before this is, just looks like a completely new house i'm no longer living in the slums oh Oh my god, I only want the best for you guys. Oh, I just realized we nearly forgot the outside, which is the balcony. There's not really much out here, but it's just like a little seating option. I'm going to have tea parties right here. That is what I'm saying, girl. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get us a cup of coffee and we're going to have a little coffee on the porch while we do the outro. All right, madam, here's our coffee. All right, well, that was me renovating one of your guys' house in Blocksburg. Again, thank you guys so much for 400k. That is absolutely insane. I don't think I can give she $400,000, even though I would. That is Instead, we're gonna give her 40k. So there we go. So 40k, 400,000. I don't know. <laughs> Dang you. Thank you, Alaska. Of course, my darling. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's renovation video. Again, if you want me to renovate one of your future Bloxburg houses, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel or you can message me on Instagram or Discord. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.